say hi. Hi guys. <laughs> this vlog today, we're on our way to Oman. It is Monday. We're about two hours away. So one and a half. We're going to Oman to see Amwaj. They invited us to this really cool thing that they're doing at the moment. It's called the Amwaj Voyage. And I think that they're kind of like partnering with a few like influencers. Um, this time there is like a famous actor, like it's kind of random, but there is like an actor, there's a photographer that's very famous and well known, there's like a magazine person that's there. So it's all like different people from different industries, but it's really exciting. I'm very happy to be going back to Oman. I will uh, vlog again once we arrive to the hotel so that you guys can see it and um, hopefully I will remind, remember to do that. <laughs> So we are about four minutes away from the hotel. We're finally in Muscat. Wait, let me turn this around. Well, this is, I guess it's kind of like the city center, right? I don't know, but yeah, yeah, maybe. Okay. I assume. Well, there is like more like buildings, like little shops and stuff. Little center of Muscat. That's Samad al Ah, nice. That's a very famous like Middle Eastern perfume brand. So that's cool. So yeah, we're about four minutes away, and then we'll show you our room in the Shetty. I think we'll have to go straight to dinner, maybe. So, quick shower and get ready for dinner, and then go straight there. But yeah, happy to be here. We were just saying, like, it's, um... Okay, we were saying he had some friends that lived here, like, 20 years ago. And it's so crazy to even think about that, because it's much less developed when you compare it to somewhere like Dubai or Abu Dhabi but it's still really beautiful and charming in its own way but imagine living here 20 years ago like it's it's crazy to think yeah, about that was, i guess more like a village you know yeah but no it was still a big city you know what i mean but yeah. uh, i feel like we're almost here okay shady, yeah, yeah. the shetty yeah yeah this the is shady. the entrance actually this is the en here. yeah we'll film the entrance for you guys oh. i remember it <laughs> and it's just a little building right here so this is it guys and we will show you inside in a minute it's very typical yeah i honestly i love this hotel so i'll show you guys inside yes yes we just got to the room let's see yeah i think this is like a little oh this is like the bathroom okay bathroom, bathroom. closet I still aqua di parma product. Still aqua di parma. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We're not here to promote aqua di parma. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice big closet for Pierre. <sighs> Shower. That's very cool. Well, toilet. Let's see. Ah, very nice. Okay. Cool. And the little amouage box yeah, right here. Is. You want to open it quickly? You want me to open it? Yeah, open it. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what it is. I don't know which side. I don't know. Ah, it's full of surprise. It's full of surprise? Yeah. Okay. I feel like we got one in Dubai like this. No, I got a Pen Haligons one that I didn't it's full open of, like, yet. Ah, you yes. See? Okay, like, this cool. Is, this is to burn. This Wait, we didn't even read the note yet. No. Gifts first. Gifts first. All right. That's what the letter says. We'll read it after. Look. It's a little like it's, it's description. Little, uh, this is our itinerary, by the way. Yeah, it's the... It's the... Um, the oud? The, uh, the chips. Yeah, they're soaked in like... Soaked this one is the, soaked in reflection. reflection. 45. This one in... Which? Honor. Yeah. This smells so good. Honestly. The reflection smells amazing. Well, I licked a little bit on my fingers. So <laughs> it's like, I think I'm going to smell for one week. <laughs> there is epic. Epic. See, this one nice. Red, it, it must smell like crazy. Yeah. Uh, interlude. This it's one, uh, this one burnt incredible. is incredible. Yeah. We, we did have it. 
We do have already this at home in Dubai and we use it all the time. So we're gonna go meet with uh, the head of like communications of Amos, which we've known for a little while now. His name is Andras. He's super nice. So we're gonna go have a little drink with him or a mocktail. I'm not really sure if it's allowed or it's not at the yeah, moment. Yeah, because it's Ramadan. Yeah, because it's Ramadan at the moment, so I'm not sure. I hope it is. <laughs> it's cool, like, I feel like with this view, you're in like three different angles. You're here, let's see, here, here, and here. Which one is the real one? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is my best one? Ah. <laughs> so yeah, this is... This is us. This is us, if you didn't realize already. Yes. See you guys, we will talk to you soon. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my camera to dinner. Uh, not sure. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe not the first night. No, we need to feel the vibes. Yeah. See if they're okay with us showing yeah. the camera in the face or stuff. Hello guys. Hello guys. So right now it is day one. Isn't she so pretty? <laughs> it is Amazing. day one of uh, the Amwaj voyage and we are, <laughs> there is Andras over here. <laughs> um, we are at the Grand Mosque right now so we're gonna have a little tour and take some photos and and see how beautiful it is because I remember we came last time when we were in Oman yeah, but and it was closed. It was closed. This so time we're going, we're going we're, in. Exactly. Okay, we're coming. All right, so we got to go. Let's go. This is the carpet where the women pray. So this and is the women's prayer room. Because yeah. women and men, it's not like a church where yeah. everyone is in the same room. Women and men, they are separated during the prayer time. Mm. And uh, this is the ladies' room. Yeah. Because men, I think they have to pray at the mosque. Women, they can pray from home, from different locations. So the prayer room for women is always smaller because there is less people. Yeah. We are in the mosque right now. The main mosque. Look at the ceiling. It is incredible. Wow. That looks fine with the glasses. Yeah. And the, <laughs> the head -nail. You look like a classy local lady. So we are at the mall right now. Yeah. The, the new mall, mall. The new mall. It's called the Mall of Oman. Oh, there's a home. <laughs> uh, might bring back something. Into it. Exactly. So we're at the Mall of Oman, which is brand new. We're going to go see the new Amwaj boutique that has just um, just opened. Apparently, it's incredible. So we will show you guys. So, um, what is it all about? First of all, I think the, the ambition is really, despite the fact that we are in Oman, you know, in a small country um, in the world, the ambition is to reinvent the way people would shop for perfume. So, the ambition was really to, to create a store like no other store in the world when it comes to um, one of the things that you, you might notice with Amouage is that we have a lot of creations. Which means that because we do a lot of things in-house, um, it's very tempting to keep every single creation as a service that we offer to the client. So today we have more than 60 frames. Now, if you go to one of our traditional boutiques, the first thing you see is that you see so many frames. And it can be a bit intimidating for if you are like, you know, a person who would like to get into the world of Amor. So the very first ambition was, we want to do a boutique where we have all of our fragrances, but you don't see them. You discover them and you're not scared. Okay, so instead of being scared, you should actually be pulled inside by something with a very strong gravitas. Something that, you know, you want to touch, you want to see, that makes you feel like a kid again. Mm. And actually, I love it when I'm, I'm staying here and I see like the first ones who want to touch the sphere are the little kids, you know? They pull their parents and they're like, hey, what is this thing? Um, so that's why the, the goal was really to have a space that is as open as possible, as welcoming as possible, um, but at the same time, very intriguing with a lot of things that's going on that you discover progressively a little bit the same like Oman.
Okay. This is so you know the six the international law. authors. Yes. So we have six Oman special authors, which only you will find it in Oman. Yeah. On that we have a very good <laughs> course. <laughs> then we have Oman. We have some different other ones also, which is actually the concentration level is really high, which yes. is not so good to international standard. So that's why we sell it in Oman. Okay. So you must try this. Okay. It's our hot cake in Oman, the top selling author. Why? This one is exclusive to it's exclusive to this boutique. It's exclusive to Oman. So we never tried this one. Yeah, never tried. So it's a lot of tobacco, ah, leather, and musk, and Omani frankincense and wood. This is the most exotic fragrance what we have. Wow. Let's see. It is amazing. Yeah. You can mix with the perfume also. It's going to be more nicer. Yeah. So but it's one of the most. This with material. <laughs> it really reminds me of vegan oil. <laughs> you know, yeah. like the, the smell of like the soup or the or you smell like incense around. Mm, smoky. Smoky. Yeah. Smoky. Leathery fragrance. Yeah. Then we have another special fragrance. It's homage. So homage is sweet, fresh, and very floral. It's like okay. you're smelling a floral fragrance. Okay. So it's with honey, sandalwood. Oh, well, I think I will love this one. Frankincense. Oh. Honey. I, I'm a, I like sweet fragrances. Sweet. So I think I will it. it has a very nice. Sweetness. She likes gourmand. She likes sandalwood. So combined. Yeah, exactly. But in that there is also a mask and umber. So Can I drink my skin as well? that mm, little bit of woodiness nice. also. Very, very, very nice. Ah, yes, I love it. Right. Most of the collections, like mostly what people do here, it's a culture. So they don't use only the other. Yes. They use the other, then they put the fragrance yeah. on top. So it enhances the fragrance really, really, really yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. And then the before you can use That's for special occasions. Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. So we had a little gift. A little um, gift. Which I, one did you pick? I got three. So we got to create like our own little sample box. Me, I got. I wanted something fresh since it's so hot, and I think I mentioned it in the video. I'm really craving like a very fresh scent at the moment. So I got Reflection Woman, Ciel Woman, and Interlude Man because I want something sexy for a night out. Okay, so um, we have the same perfume basically. <laughs> and what did you get? Let me put I one got. Um, yeah, I got Interlude Man. Okay. Because I thought we had it in Dubai, but actually it's interlude black iris. Yeah. So I was familiar with this one, but not the original. For some yeah. Reason. So interlude man, uh, honor man. Yeah. Which I was not familiar at all. It's really nice. I'm usually not the, always the biggest fan. Like or peppery. Sorry. Of peppery. I, I used not to be a fan, but I feel like you know, as I'm growing up, yeah. my taste is changing. Yeah. And this one is like fresh peppery, which is quite interesting. Yeah. So let's try it. So yeah. I guess it will be the one during the day, interlude at night, and the last one I got memoir. Do you want to be on my vlog? Of course. Of course I <laughs> so want to be on your vlog. Tell us first your name and then what did you get? Uh, hi, my name is Ben. And <laughs> what did I get? I uh, got myself the black iris. Okay. Because uh, I think it's my favorite fragrance right now. Yeah. And let's see. Okay. You can check this. Cool. Oh, look how beautiful it is. Yeah, it's really the sample sets are really nice. Samples are they have the boundless. Yeah. Which is amazing. Oh. Very spicy. I think you showed me, right? Yeah, yes. The spicy one. Yeah. It was influencing again. <laughs> Such, an Such an influence up here. Overture man. <laughs> Overture man and, and oh, woman. And one more. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't get one more. Last one, of course, the interlude black iris. Interlude black iris. Very yes, nice. Yes. Nice peaks. Yes. So where are we going now? Uh, factory. To the Amouage uh, factory. So we'll get to see more Amouage fragrances. Uh, where they work, I guess, and where they like fill all the bottles and like create the create the juices. So the craftsmanship. The craftsmanship. Yeah. So we're gonna it's something they really value, I think. Yeah. They control their whole production. So from A to Z, I mean everything is made to in the Amouage factory. Well, they probably outsource like the glass bottles and stuff, but I think everything is assembled. Yeah, in the factory. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, excited to go and hopefully smell some something new. I heard we might smell some like new creations that might be happening. Should we tell them about after? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. 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 Or it's supposed to be a big secret. I, I have no idea, but I'm excited to smell. Like I love to smell new things, or if a brand is working on something, I'd love to uh, get the chance to smell it before it's launched. Uh, so yeah. I, I heard the term uh, freshy. 
I heard something about fresh as well. Creation, so. so I'm also very excited about that. Because actually, I was just looking when we went to the boutique. I personally think that Amorge needs to create like a and tell me if you guys agree, like a fresh kind of like musky flow, like very fresh though, in the, uh, in more of like a transparent way. I would love that because since we've been here, I've always wanted to wear something a little more like light. So that would be that would be fantastic. And I think I think it's gonna we're gonna smell something like that today. So I can't wait. Let's yeah. see. Let's see. Let's see. We are now at the Amage factory, as you can see. Okay. So we're gonna have a look inside. Apparently there is some bit of like renovations and stuff going on. This is the She joined us finally. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> this is you. <laughs> is it what I think it is? Relation man 2021. So it's nice and masturbated at this point. Do you think it's my dream to jump in this? Yes. Yeah. So my favorite. Oh, look, this is your favorite. Ah, sunshine woman. Nice. So we're just uh, in like the working zone, I guess you could say, with uh, all of the Amage uh, employees that are doing all of the behind the scenes. So over here, and you can see these two ladies, they were sticking the small symbol onto the bottle and apparently they have to leave it all day to dry because a lot of uh, a lot of other companies it's like not, it's uh, like robotically done I guess you could say but here because they want to make sure it's perfect they do it by hand and they leave it to dry all day long um, and I guess now they're putting the sticker onto the box so they're filling out the atar also? and yes, on this side they're filling out the atars which they have to do again by hand because it's an atar Apparently they cannot do it in the machine, like over here. Um, they have to actually do it by hand, which okay. I'm sure is quite time consuming. And this is the machine that fills the perfume? Fills and puts the, the um, what do you call it? Like the, the cap. So yeah, I guess. Yeah. Okay. It's the same one. Sometimes the cap, it's a different machine. Me, I think the cap maybe it might be the other. No, I mean, you know this little, what do you call this thing? Yeah. It's very atomizer. Atomizer, yeah. Atomizer, atomizer. Like yeah. It's sure this is the boxing, I guess. Yes. We are just about to leave the Amouage factory. We got the chance to both Pierre and I smell some. Uh, new creations from Amouage. We smelled five, I think, and it was really nice. Like everything is really wow. Um, I don't think we can tell like what they were about. Yeah. But I think we can tell that they are all uh, something completely new. Yeah, completely to, new for the uh, brand. To the line. Yeah. And uh, and we I forgot to mention, but also Pierre Negrin is here, um, who is a, a like fantastic, huge perfumer. If you look at what he's done, he's made very. Uh, uh, so many famous creations and he's here on this trip actually. He was mentioning to uh, someone else on this tour that he made Black Orchid in Tom Ford. From Amouage he made uh, Interlude, he also made Portrayal Woman I think. He made all and the interludes. Yeah, Sorry, all the yeah. interludes, um, the, the Blue Beast as everyone calls it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he made a lot from Amouage, a lot of the Opus collection as well. And he's just made some really, really big, big uh, fragrances. So um, we are currently at the Muscat Souk, okay. uh, which is uh, amazing, like it's super uh, authentic, traditional. I think it's the same since so many, so many years, never yeah. changed. So we're going to have a little wander around. Yes. Uh, I want to buy something personally, I'm not sure what though. You know, you always film and you're like... I know, because I can't, if I go like this, I cannot see myself. Yes, exactly. Yeah, there's one there. So yes, we're going to go have a little wander around, maybe buy some things and, yeah. uh, and then see. And then we're Check gonna out have the raw materials maybe? Yes, definitely. So what do you feel like buying? I don't know. I really don't know. I could be keen to buy a little uh, like shawl. Like yeah. uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I feel like every time I came here I bought an Omani uh, local uh, dress. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's what I meant. Yeah. Something like this but for women. Andrew, Let's see. have you seen the, uh, the frankincense? Let's see. Yeah. So, so thank you. It's about oh, frankincense. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Lovely. Different quality, the white one, uh, like a dark one. Yeah. Obviously, frankincense, local. How is it? 
<laughs> Let's see. It's on her. It's a nice one? Yes. Can we see? It's a tester. Ah. It's okay. I think this one looks like it's for women. What is this? This is on watch. Oi. The oil, I know it's okay. Let's look, look in the phone. It's alright. This is no you. chemical. So look, look, that, that's what it is. Like it's really cool. Ah, like, yeah. You see all the Dolce and Gabbana, Escada, Moon, like all those things. <coughs> but they're also. It's okay, thank you. They're no problem. Really created. They're really good. Like, oh, okay. Can I take a picture of you with them? Uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Please, please. This is hilarious. <laughs> Blue Beast. I'm wise. Did you create that one too? Well, I, mm. you know. yeah. I wish. I love this look. Yeah, me too. I just love the smell. The, the smell is crazy. It smells the, mostly like Frankie. Well, it's, yeah, it's mostly burning scents, but it's just like Even the, the colors, you know? Yeah, the so color many colors, the people. It's pure vanilla. Pure vanilla. Pure, pure vanilla. vanilla. Pure vanilla. Let's see. I will just do a little bit like this. Nice oil. Nice. It's good. 100% pure vanilla. This is not a other one. Mix. Only pure. It's not very strong though for me. This is not strong. This is also coming in the smell. Uh, it's, can I smell? Street, street, street. No, it's very light. Yeah. This one, not so much. It's nice. It's very nice, but I smell this, this one. Is a a this one we keep? We keep for free? Yes. For free? <laughs> we make it for you, the special special discount for you. Do you find uh, what you're looking for? They have nice things. I oh, think this is my favorite shop among them. Yeah? It's very colorful. It's the last price. 14. Let's see. Beautiful. I know, isn't it? It's gonna be for his mom. So did you find your? Uh... I don't really want to leave, guys. We're so, we're going for dinner now, but we've only been here for like 35 minutes, 40 minutes. But it's uh. It's yeah, so just fun. enough to buy uh, one little thing. Yes, but I really wanted to get a local dress to, to have one at yeah. least. To wear it? Yeah, to wear it maybe sometimes in Dubai. You yeah. never know. Um, but yeah, I hope we can maybe try to come back here because yeah. we didn't really get the chance to buy anything for we'll ourselves. Try. So and see the souk more. The energy in the souk, it's especially at night, it's crazy. Like it's so much fun. It's uh, exciting. It's uh, I don't know. It's really special. So I hope we can come back because it's I don't know. There's an energy about it, don't you think? Yeah, and uh, obviously smells. So many smells, like lot of smells. mostly frankincense, like we said, but a little bit of everything. So. Yeah. So this is where we're going. Date? Yeah. Where is it? Date Thank you. Let's see. Nice. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Um, just wanted to jump on and tell you guys what our plan is right now because we're back in the bus. Uh, so we live on, live on the bus. We live on the bus. Um, I didn't really, we didn't really vlog much from dinner. We just kind of enjoyed the dinner. I should have because it's cool to show like not really shooting. Right? I know, but maybe we should do it in the next. Uh, yeah, because today we're changing hotels. We're going to a beautiful hotel in the mountains. Um, it's called Alila, right? It's called Alila. I think. Alila, it's the name of the hotel. I think it's the name of the hotel. Here we go. So we're going there today, which is super exciting. Um, but first, why we're in the bus right now is because we're going to do some like snorkeling and we're going on a boat about one hour away to yeah go snorkeling, swimming, hopefully see some dolphins. I heard that there is a lot of dolphins at this place sometimes. You know, man, in general. Yeah. So I'm really and turtles. Really... And turtles. Yay! Yeah. Oh my god, I love turtles. You don't want to snorkel? No, I'm not sure if like it's part of the area. It is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. I'm not sure if there's a lot With of sharks going through. Oh. But but it's true. But like, there's no white sharks, but it's like small sharks. Okay. I think I was still so cool. Let's see. So like tip, right? Yeah, it's okay. Anyway, so that we're doing that now and then we'll come back to the hotel and get ready to change. So we will try to bring you guys along as much as possible today. Apparently there is like turtles, dolphins, everything. So let's see. Okay. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. Eels, I heard as well. On the way. <laughs> we're just looking on the web and it says 
says that there is bull shark, tiger shark, hammerhead shark, and other things. So I'm a little scared because I'm very well. He's really scared of shark, and me, I'm really scared of bull shark. Like I never want to come across one of those in my life. So I'm not sure about snorkeling now. <laughs> so let's see. Super fun, amazing, um, really like relaxed, you know. And Pierre and I, we love things like this that are very chill, very relaxed, uh, you just enjoy. So it was really, really good. We, we love boats. We love boats. We met on a boat, we have a nice relationship with boats. Except for one in Bali where we almost we died. We met on a boat, we almost died on the boat. Exactly. We're just having some lunch, but I didn't vlog it. We just had a little uh, metze. Let's see. The aftermath. I think uh, you guys came too late. We had little metze, like traditional metze with like hummus, mutaba, uh, falafel, cheese samosek. And then now we're gonna have, me, I'm gonna have a little quinoa salad. Pierre ordered a little pop Did you want a diet? Uh, no, but I like healthy food. So okay. I enjoy my healthy dishes. So, and we had it yesterday and it was delicious. By the way, me, I'm having a club sandwich. I'm having a club sandwich. And uh, I have a little uh, <gasps> guess yes. for everyone out there. What is the reason they call it club sandwich? Okay. So people think it's called a club sandwich because it's a common thing to eat in like hotels, you know, beach club, clubs, beach club, whatever. It's, uh, it's not true. Apparently, club has a meaning. Um, the same way, for example, Soho has a meaning. You know? What is Soho? In New York? Yeah. So it's South Houston. Ah. No ho, no Houston. Because okay. Houston Street it costs New York. Okay, okay. Anyways, I'm sorry, short. Club it means chicken and lettuce and your bacon. I had no idea my whole life that it was a club sandwich because of that reason. Probably some of you knew that, maybe some of you didn't. There is another one, it's Bay, like when people call each other like Bay. We don't call each other Bay because it's yeah, kind but lame. it's kind of lame. Oh, we're but pretty lame, but we're pretty lame, yeah. Not that much. <laughs> um, but bay means before anyone else. B A E bay. Opposite. Ah, opposite. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank can you. I just get some mayonnaise, please? Yes. Quinoa salad. Super. And you? Chicken lettuce on the bacon. <laughs> Fries are good. I tested yeah. them for you. We just got out of the shower, fresh from the sea, all clean, ready to go to the next hotel. So really excited for this one because it's in the mountains. So I think we have to go now because people are downstairs waiting. So yes, let's go. Bon voyage. Let's say goodbye to the view. Yes. Goodbye view. Goodbye Shetty. Road trip gang. Yeah, Lim Cruiser <laughs> gang. Six years now. This is Demi's blog and um, I'm very happy to be uh, with Demi. <laughs> uh, we are at Birkat Anus and this is uh, an incredible oasis that you can find in the mountains on the way from Muscat to Jabal Agar. Thank you for joining. Thank you for joining. Okay, we just arrived to our room. Um, I didn't really touch base with you guys, but we're gonna go inside. We're literally in the middle of the desert. You can't even yeah, see. We cannot it's... show the hotel because we came at night. Yeah. And like literally it's in the middle of the mountain, so there is no light. But you can see the vibe, like it's in everything stone. is in black stones. Yeah. And actually when we arrived at the hotel, it was at the end of the sunset. Yeah. So it was still a little uh, bright. Yeah. And we could barely see the hotel in the nature, you know, it like really fits in. Yeah. 100%. Really cool. Let's go. Let's open. Room Let's tour. Room, room tour. Yes. Maybe it's Let's nice. See. I hope it's nice. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, okay. Super, nice. Super. Coffee machine, we love to see that. 
How this, is it take my hair out because I look a little Ooh, crazy. Oh, you should feel the bathroom. Okay, let's see. So this is the bed. What is this behind here? Ah, it's a big wardrobe, if you That's guys cool. can say. Like RB curtain. Yeah, like, uh, like this if I want. RB I don't want Pierre to watch me change. I can go like this. Yeah. In reality, uh, <laughs> I walk around nude everywhere. The problem is that there is no door to the bathroom. Ah, girls, if you know, you know. <laughs> That's why it's a problem. <gasps> wow! I think I will take a bath actually right now. Oh, maybe me too. Yeah, and I'm sure actually the bath. And you I can't think, see, but yeah, you have a crazy view. I think it's a crazy view. Yeah. Oh, these are wow. Beautiful. Yeah, the sinks are wow. Nice. Let's see the little amenities. Here you can sit in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> you can take a shower and sit. Or or, I'm like, where is Pierre? Oh, he's here. Yeah. <laughs> Showering, sitting down. Yeah. I love the stone with like black. That would be, if I could build a house, I would do this sort of vibe. Okay guys, so we are about to go to dinner, but we have a small crisis because I did not bring any jackets or anything really warm for this trip. So I'm kind of freezing and in the mountains at night, apparently it gets down to like what, 16 degrees yeah, or so. And I have to like work with what I have right now. So I have a long sleeve top and I just put a linen top. Whereas I offered my clothes. I want to say it on camera. When it comes to pictures and so on, it's a bit more scenic and uh, uh, and, uh, and Mr. Ahmed, so his job is actually to um, source roses from everywhere around the mountains and to bring everything to his factory so that he can distill it for a while. Wow, beautiful. Up. Can I, uh, can we go? Take, take. It's madam, it's insane. Hi guys, so right now we didn't really do like an introduction to what we're doing today but we're at the rose fields of Amwash. I think they're one of few that they have um, but right now we're uh, looking at the rose and... Can you show us? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so this is, a, this is a rock rose? Yeah, it's rock rose but it's rock rose is a type of Damascena rose. It's a very Middle Eastern rose and it's a type of Damascena so it's like a breed or a species. Rock rose and Honestly, I've never smelled anything so strong than smelling this. We're at Rose Field number two, and this one is actually owned by Amwaj. And then they take them inside. Look, the guys, they're taking the bags of roses inside to start the distillation process. So coming out of this little building, they come out as a liquid. Yes, exactly. But uh, apparently Renault was saying that this is like the end of the season coming to the end. So you can see there is not, like they've already picked a lot of the roses. Yeah. So that's why there is not many now. Yeah, there is not many. It's funny that we're in the middle of the desert, huh? Yeah, it doesn't feel like this. Like well, technically the mountain, but it's like desertic mountain. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't waste. <laughs> no waste, no waste. We don't waste anything. <laughs> Take this. Oh my god. Sure. <laughs> oh my god. 
طاهر طني هذا طني هذا So after the rules are distilled in those uh, huge tanks, you're able to extract just a little bit of oil, and with the rest of the petals, they become like this. Yeah, this is what the because I was asking the question oh, earlier, what happens to the rose petals after the distillation? Voila. So burned petals. Burned those petals, burned but rose. actually they it's, still smell. It's strange smell because yeah, it's good. funny because it doesn't look very appealing, but, but like it does you smell just nice. It, no? Like a pot, it's you know, kind of if like. You make a rose gem. Ah, yeah, exactly. Confiture de rose. Ça a un peu ce, cet effet là. Yeah. Même, uh, Did you smell it? It smells yeah. like kind of sweet and dried yeah. fruity uh -huh. a bit. Okay. Let's smell it. Let's see. I don't know where I put so it. So this is a sort of like dry rose gem. Honestly, uh, it looks kind of good. <laughs> I mean, it looks disgusting, but uh, it's still smells ah, yeah, good. Yeah, I see exactly what you mean. Yeah, well, un peu. Uh. And they, they didn't find uh, yet a way to reuse this. <laughs> yeah, sometimes uh, what they do, they resell it to people who want to try a second, you know, run out of that just for like a second grade yeah. quality or okay. Like, because they still have some use for it. Yeah. Okay. And they still have uh, they still have flavor in a way. They, they still have or they use it for uh, other products, you know. Yeah. Okay. Just uh, fragrance. Oh. So we're going through the Alain village now, having a little like walk through and stuff. Um, and yeah I guess we're gonna have a look at some other fields that are owned by the villagers here. Yeah. Um, oh the fields of bros. Um, like they were saying, um, it's kind of like the same way of uh, where you can find the rice cultures in like uh, Thailand or in Asia, yep. where on like when they're on the mountains. Yeah, uh, it's kind of the same way here for rose. I guess they were saying that's what gives the this very unique smell of it. Yeah, the it's a bit more it's, like mineral. I guess. Yeah, the fact that it's grown around rocks and gives more character to the to the rose. The star. I'm just gonna pass. Up la, the model. Guys, I am not a model, like I don't really do photo shoots ever. I've never done one actually. I think one in my life when I was younger, so I feel really awkward, but just trying to embrace it. <laughs> So if you have water, 
Yeah. This is cold water, yeah? This is cold water. Yeah. So that's the filter in the oil? Ah. Yeah, filter. Yeah. And you see, this is when it filters. And then, once it is filtered, then it's put in bottles, and this is the final product. If the tin is choky. We just saw the traditional way of how they distill yes, yes. the rose, uh, mostly rose water, and it's called smoky rose water um, because there is like um, wood involved in the process, like burning wood. So it brings like this very smoky kind of barbecue flavor to like smoky. I don't know how to explain it. smoked wood. Scent barbecue. To, yeah, barbecue. Barbecue is the key word. A guy we're just at a little lunch spot, so we came to the Anantaro for a little lunch. We're back at the, the rose fields and uh, we're going to see the final product of the distillation, which going from like thousands and thousands of roses, I think there will be about this much liquid from yeah. all of that. So. Let's go and see. <laughs> yeah, the precious drops. The precious drops. Ooh, the smell. Yeah. last night but we had probably one of the craziest dinners of our lives each dish was inspired by one of the amouage perfumes there was yeah. epic there was rose incense there so was the dish and there was a special mocktail also yeah exactly for each uh, each creation and honestly the most impressive was the dessert i did do an instagram story on it yeah i think we'll, we'll add the yeah the photo i took we took a few photos or clips it was really really incredible so we had this beautiful dinner it was super creative yeah really, creative. really amazing yeah. like they 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 recreated a sort of rose yeah uh, but edible <gasps> so it was apple it was, i think it was like stewed yeah. apple it was apple and uh With the vanilla cream you had like you know an amouage uh, atomizer yeah uh, like the travel sprays you know yeah uh, they replaced the perfume by like a sort of like it was not a sauce, but it was like a edible, like liquid, edible spray. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not really sure what was inside. Maybe like some sort of like rose water, rose maybe water. cranberry, yeah, exactly, something like this. Yeah. That you would spray uh, to add flavor to the dessert. Sorry, guys, about what I look like right now. It's quite shocking, but 
we're leaving today. It's a very chill day. I'm yeah, I'm ready to to go back to work and everything now. Well, I'm stressing the, about it. Look at the scenery behind. Yeah, it's pretty nice it's work really spot. Crazy. So that's where we're staying, by the way. I don't think we had a chance to film it before. But yeah. Yeah, the pool is beautiful. Apparently it's freezing though. It's frozen. It's 17 degrees. You wanna you wanna try? Put your food inside. That's cold. Yeah? That's cold. I think I might take a little swim though. What? Yeah. So then we'll probably leave soon, like I would say in like an hour and a half we're gonna pack up and head back to Dubai to see our little dog who I miss yeah. so much. Pasties. Pasties. Which you guys are gonna see soon. We'll do a passive vlog, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Absolutely freezing. On our way home, how do you feel? Uh, I feel like we had a really incredible week. Yeah. Like, I'm sure by seeing the footage, like, everyone would be like, wow, they did so much. I feel like we were really, like, non stop, but non stop of great experiences. A little sad to leave because like he was a nice group, we met some great people, yeah. um, we had a lot of fun, we discovered a lot of things, we had fun vlogging. Also, yeah, actually. yeah, it was really fun. So this will wrap up the vlog and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. We have a lot of footage to go through. I think I will do some of it in the car. Um, but yeah, like Pierre said, it was an amazing uh, five days. Like he said, we met some very, very, very nice people from all different industries, actually, yeah. uh, that we have made great connections with. We're going to stay in touch. And a big shout out and thank you to Amouage um, for inviting us on this beautiful trip. Yeah. Um, to Renault and to especially Andrash, who organized everything. Uh, it was just really an unforgettable trip. So yeah. super happy. and Looking uh, forward to the next one. Yeah. <laughs> Looking forward to the next one. Yeah. Wink, wink. Yeah. So yeah, that's it guys. Let us know if you enjoyed the vlog um, and we can try to do more because I really want to step up my vlogging game and actually vlog maybe like a weekly vlog in Dubai. Um, so not all vlogs are gonna weekly, be- Weekly, let's see. Weekly, let's see, I would like to try. So let's see. But uh, all of the vlogs are not gonna be like this one, so exciting and traveling and doing a lot of stuff. Some of it's gonna be me cleaning my house, but the apartment actually. Um, but yeah, let us know if you enjoyed and yeah, hopefully see you guys in the next vlog. See you.